All right, let's do question seven, which is the last question uh, in this FRQ. So a Lewis dot diagram of the oxalate ion is shown. Um, a, identify the hybridization of the valence orbitals of either carbon in the oxalate ion. In order to find the hybridization, we should find out how many um, bonding domains there are in this carbon. So there's one domain here, one domain here, and one domain here. Um, so each of these bonds count as one domain each. And uh, you might be thinking, does a double bond count as two domains? Um, no, double bonds, triple bonds, single bonds all count as uh, one domain. If you had a lone pair, that would also count as a domain, but you don't. Um, so this has three domains. And three domains is sp2. All right, let's go on to part B. Silver oxalate is slightly uh, soluble in water. The value of Ksp for silver oxalate is 5.40 times 10 to the negative 12th. Um, I write the expression for the solubility product constant Ksp for silver oxalate. So if you look at how uh, the silver oxalate would uh, dissociate, it would dissociate into two silver ions and one oxalate ion. So if you were to write the Ksp, your Ksp, let's do this in green, uh, Ksp would be the Ag plus to the second power. So your, your stoichiometric coefficient just becomes your power uh, times your oxalate ion. Um, and since the, uh, the coefficient is one, you would just have a, um, a power of one on the oxalate. So this would be your Ksp. Um, let me box this. And then we can move on to two. Um, so calculate the molar solubility of silver oxalate in neutral distilled water. So in order to calculate the, the molar solubility, all we have to do is just um, replace our concentrations with X's. So our Ksp, let's just write it down again, is Ag plus um, squared and then C2O4 minus. Now, for every one molecule of silver oxalate that dissociates, you're going to have two molecules of um, silver or two ions of silver that produce that, that are produced and one molecule of oxalate that is produced. So if we say our Ksp uh, is this, well, your silver is going to be 2x squared and your oxalate is going to be x. For every one molecule of oxalate that dissociates, you're going to have two molecules of silver um, ion that dissociates. And you know your Ksp. Your Ksp is 5.40 times 10 to the negative 12th. Um, and then this would be 4x cubed. And so your x would be the molar solubility of silver oxalate, which is you know how much silver oxalate is going to distill in uh, the neutral distilled water. So if you solve for x, uh, let's do 5.40 times 10 to the negative 12 um, and let's divide that by 4 and then let's take that to the one third power so your uh, your uh, molar solubility is about 1.11 times 10 to the negative 4 molar All right, let's do the last part, um, three. The molar solubility of silver oxalate increases when it is dissolved in 0.5 molar um, HClO4, which is perchloric acid, instead of neutral distilled water. Write a balanced anionic equation for the process that occurs between species and solution uh, that contributes to the increased solubility of silver oxalate in perchloric acid. So if you uh, look at how your silver oxalate dissociates, it's going to dissociate into two silver ions and it's going to dissociate into a oxalate ion but this doesn't happen a lot now what does happen a lot is your perchloric acid um, is going to dissociate perchloric acid is a really strong acid which means it's going to dissociate um, almost hundred percent in uh, solution so it's going to dissociate uh, completely into H plus and your um, perchlorate ion from here, uh, one of two reactions can occur. First of all, you could have your H, your H plus could see that um, oxalate ion. You could have H plus and oxalate um, reacting. Oh, whoops, that should be a two minus. Um, they react to produce uh, H2C2O4, which is oxalic acid, 
or you could have uh, the silver seeing the perchlorate ion and producing um, silver perchlorate. Um, AgClO4. And if you remember your um, solubility rules for silver, silver is almost always insoluble except with uh, perchlorate. So this actually just dissociates into Ag plus and ClO4 minus, uh, which means no reaction really happens. So the only reaction that really occurs is the H plus sees your oxalate ion and produces uh, ox oxalic acid. And so uh, why does this increase the solubility of silver um, oxalate? Because if you realize what it really does is it, it uses up your oxalate ions. Um, and uh, whoops, this should be balanced. There needs, there needs to be a two here. Um, what it does is use up your oxalate ions. Um, if you look at your dissociation, if you use up your uh, oxalate ions, the system's gonna be like, hey, how do I produce more oxalate? And the way you do that is by increasing the forward reaction. And the, what the forward reaction does is that it dissociates the silver oxalate. Um, so by using up the oxalate, you, ha you actually have more dissociation of the silver oxalate, which increases the solubility overall. Um, so that's why this uh, reaction, this is why uh, dissolving silver oxalate in perchloric acid would actually increase um, the molar solubility. And that was um, question seven. I hope this was helpful. I hope you were able to learn something. I have the rest of the, the uh, problems in a playlist. It should pop up. Um, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.